I'm actually so freaking proud of myself. I'm gonna give myself a big hug right now because I'm so nervous. I did that. Beautiful. Hold that thing. I feel like every girl needs to try it. Hi. Honestly, this vlog is very random. Just a heads up in advance. When I was editing, I'm like, I really didn't put much, you know, I can't think right now. Let me just take a bite. Mm. I'm sure that's all. We have this massive tub of spinach and I've been trying to finish it because this goes off in a few days. And there's so much, like, look at how much there is in there. It's actually huge and literally I don't think anyone else in my family really eats spinach but me and sometimes my mom. And I'm like trying to cook the spinach with my food, or, like wilt it, I think that's what you call it, that's a term for it, wilting. And there's still so much. I don't know what to do with it. I'm like, I am, I can't eat that much grass in a day, that's just me, I really can't. So I'm like trying to put it in everything right now. But yeah, a little side note. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, um, honestly, I just have like a whole bunch of random clips put together for the week. I hope you guys are okay with that. It's actually kind of scattered. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you would like to support me, please subscribe and like the video and comments are always welcome. Engagement is everything. I don't know why my hands move a lot more than my mouth does. <laughs> it moves with my mouth actually. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'll put it down. But yeah. Thank you. See ya. Mmm. Mmm. Everything tastes so much better when I'm hungry. Mmm. Pole dancing, I feel like every girl needs to try it. Spin pole specifically because the pole actually spins. That's why it's called spin pole. I was having too much fun on it. I'm gonna be honest. It was so funny because I was actually swinging so much at one point that the instructor was like, okay. You don't need to swing that much. Like, obviously she didn't say it exactly like that, but she was like, you can slow down, you know, you don't need to go too fast. I was literally like, full on playing with the pole. <laughs> I was just having fun with it. I was full of spinning, doing my own thing, instead of actually following what the, what the routine was. <laughs> oh, but it was so fun. I'm like, I would do that class again. It was so interesting. If you try pole dancing, you would know. Oh, if you have done pole dancing, you would know how much pain it is to grip the pole with your legs. <laughs> it hurts. Honestly, my skin could not handle the grip. Like, I could not. It, I, it was, I was in pain. I could not stick to the pole because it was kind of unbearable for me personally. I could not handle it. It's something you'd have to strengthen and, you know, build a thick skin for because my you know, thick for pole dancing. <laughs> That's just me being honest. Sorry guys, like my eyes are getting a bit tired right now. I'm just like, but I'm trying to stay awake. But yeah, I'm gonna have a midnight snack. It's not midnight, but you know, I'm just gonna have like a late night snack. I'm having like some cereal and this chocolate mousse. I know it's kind of like a weird combo, but it's a good combo. Anyways, cheers. Oh, it smells so good. I don't usually eat on my bed, but tonight's the night for it. You know why? Because I can, and I'm an adult. My mom cannot tell me otherwise. Good morning. I said that so weird. Ew. <laughs> but yeah, guys, like if you, if girls, I don't want to discriminate and say, guy, if you're a guy and you want to do it, please do it. Like it's really good. It's fun. And don't be scared of it. Like literally, don't be scared of a pole. It's okay. It's not really sexual to do pole dancing unless you want it to be, I guess. <laughs> Um, I don't know, it might have like a bit of a bad rep if you think it's like a stripper thing to 
pole dance but it's more for you know getting in touch with like your feminine side i guess and just feeling a bit sexy when you do it i said that when you're sexy <laughs> no 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 it's perfect do i make a new one do i want to wait not really it's actually really bad i don't think i can eat that I don't really do anything fancy with my avocado on toast, to be honest. I know some people do, but we are not that fancy around here. We like to keep it to a bare minimum. I have like a bit of lemon pepper seasoning left. Really, literally nothing left. I sprinkle that on top. That's it. Mmm. Mmm. It's hitting real good, hey? Yum. Lately I've been I've done it a few times Not as often as I want But to really taste my food I like to bite And then I close my eyes You know why? I taste the flavour of my food So much more when I close my eyes And chew Like I swear You, ought to, you have to try it Like please try it I'm not crazy it's just the fact that maybe you're not so stimulated with other things around you that you actually can focus on the taste of the food. That's it. It works. It's it's game changing. Like my food tastes so much better because I close my eyes and actually taste it. You know what I'm saying? And if I feel like it, I also put like meditation music on to really like focus. Like, I feel like meditation music always helps me focus. So I always put that on in the background if I feel a bit distracted. I do that of like, you know, frequency music. And it's so good. It's just so peaceful. It's a good way to start your morning. I highly recommend it if you guys really want to, like, try to focus being more present. It's a really good practice to do. You ought to do it. So good. Yeah. Ta da! <laughs> Any pose? We're doing leg day today with deadlifting. Yes. Get excited. Yeah. I'm excited to deadlift. Jill is gonna do 105. Oh my god. That's the workout, but Lolene's. Yeah. Show your new shorts. Look at her new shorts. They're so nice. This is my new shorts from XC. Look how cute that is. So cute. Very nice. I've never seen you wear this outfit. This outfit? Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe I, I have worn it, but maybe not with you yet. It looks so good. I love it. Wow. It's color coordinated. Yeah. I love it. I love it. But it's so boring. <laughs> we haven't stopped working out at all because we're hot. Oh, yeah. Hi to my sister. I'm famous now. Oh, actually, I've never formally introduced my gym bestie. This is me. This is me. Yeah. Oh, we're kind of matching today. My, mm -hmm. Minus the shorts, but like she got a pop of color. Even our hair is similar. Get it? Oh yeah. Hey guys, we failed. We failed 100. Yeah. Oh. Hi. What are you talking about? There's no footage, so they did. Nobody knows. Look at her butt. Oh wait, this is family friendly, so you won't see this. New shorts look so nice. She can't hear me, but it's easy. Good performance. <laughs> Making the gym session. You got it. Silhouette up on the still, dolly brush truck with the 
campus gym. Yeah! <laughs> I want this in my mirror actually. This is very nice. Ooh. I'm at this photo shoot for my coach. Actually, old coach, because I have decided to go off on my my own, my separate ways. <sighs> <laughs> Don't be shy. Introduce yourself. I made a new friend today. <laughs> no, to meet you. you guys, this photo shoot is so fun. Actually, I was I was very anxious with this photo shoot because social anxiety. But everyone's so nice, and I'm so happy that I don't know. I came. I'm whispering because I don't want them to hear. But I was actually not gonna go because I was getting anxious about the photo shoot and having to socialize but I'm glad I did I want this in my room like look at this set up makes me look clean and nice mm. can't get over how nice I look today wow I look decent <laughs> this is the fit just white top white pants white heels baby I've been going nowhere lately Time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. That's so lovely. Big snugs. Oh, gorgeous, you guys. This is so cute. It is still Christmas in this household. <laughs> Changed from the white jeans earlier to actual denim because that was the theme for the group shoot that we did. And you guys obviously saw that everyone was wearing like denim bottoms and then like a white top. It looks so good. Everyone coordinated, looks so legit, it was so cool. It was a really fun photo shoot. Honestly, you guys, I'm so, so freaking proud of myself that I actually attended because i'll be honest with you guys and say that i was actually having doubts and pardon me second guessing my decision of attending the photo shoot because i was getting a bit of so uh, uh, pardon me the pizza i can still taste the pizza um anyways yeah i was getting a bit of anxiety leading up to the actual photo shoot a few days before i was very adamant on like not going i'm gonna be honest you know how it is if you're someone with social anxiety it can get very um confronting you know um but yeah i'm so happy and i'm so proud of myself that i actually did do it i decided this morning that i was actually just gonna suck it up and just go with it just do it because i did enjoy it last time i enjoyed it so much last time that i went if you guys haven't watched that vlog i'll link it down below it was like a year ago i also had another photo shoot with my coach marie um it was an outdoor setting this time it was like it was like legit it was in a studio apartment sort of thing and it was so cool like the vibe was just it was top notch um yeah it was just nice to actually meet some new people um everyone was friendly which was really good it made it so much easier for me like, you know i felt comfortable which is what you want you want to feel comfortable in a new social setting um yeah i felt so good like honestly i, I felt at ease and i'm really happy and glad that i went i pr made a promise to myself this year that i am going to do more things that make me feel uncomfortable and get comfortable with being uncomfortable if that makes sense and say yes to more things um obviously it depends <laughs> on the context you know if it's gonna help me grow and evolve as a person i'll say yes like if it's not gonna benefit me then it obviously is a no you know it's a hell no proud of you jill i'm actually so freaking proud of myself i'm gonna give myself a big hug right now because i'm so proud of myself i did that guys be proud of me but yes make that make that a promise to yourself if you're someone that is very scared of going out of your comfort zone if you're not someone make a promise to yourself to do more things out of your comfort zone it will literally force you to just grow like it will help so much with your self-confidence when you do more things outside of your comfort zone because you're showing yourself that you're actually capable of the things that you think you're not capable of if that makes sense 
I just started just then, but you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, that's just like my little motivational speech for today, for tonight. <laughs> Cheers to that. I didn't film it at all today because honestly, I was just feeling a bit anxious. Um, I did go to the gym this morning with my friend and I tried to sumo deadlift. Um, actually felt pretty good sumo deadlifting. It wasn't, a, I wouldn't recommend deadlifting twice within the same week. I wouldn't, but I did. I deadlifted on Thursday and then deadlifted again on Saturday. <laughs> Would not recommend because I actually struggled a bit with strength, but you know, we kind of just got a bit excited and we just wanted to try, so we did. <laughs> um, pulled 90 for one rep, could not pull 100 kilos, but it was given because I did deadlift on Thursday, so not enough recovery time there. It's because I'm not breathing. <laughs> Honestly, if you're someone that gets worried about floating, please don't be so worried about it. Don't get self-conscious about it because everyone bloats. Um, and honestly, no one is judging you more than you're judging yourself. If that's what you're worried about, if you're worried about someone, you know, judging you for your bloated stomach, your stomach that is currently digesting food, just stop it. Sorry, I, 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 my brain just blank. I, I don't know where my, my, my brain. I don't know where my, my, my brain is fried now. Um, but yeah, seriously, no one cares more than you about how bloated your stomach is. Like I bloat that, so now I've just chosen to embrace my bloated stomach, unless it's really uncomfortable. Like the feeling of really full, uncomfortable, bloated stomach is different to just. Having a little bit of a pooch, you know what I'm saying? It's fine. It's fine. Do you just love my double chin angle? I sure do. I feel like I need to start um, gua sha again because my double chin is like... You know what I'm saying?